floor is a procedure that should be done only when needed. Strip a floor when you start a new floor care system or when your finish is embedded with soil or worn beyond repair. Stripping can take a lot of labor. Maintain your floor properly and stripping can be minimized. First, it's important to make sure you have all the proper equipment. For chemical stripping, you will need a mop bucket with ringer, two cotton blend mops, black stripping pads, wet vac, caution signs, stripper stop tape, baseboard edging tool, scraper, triple S baseboard stripper, quality floor stripper, measuring cup, single disc rotary floor machine, 175 to 300 RPM or auto scrubber, goggles, gloves, squeegee with handle. Prior to any floor maintenance procedure, it is important to prep the area. This includes removing any furniture, vacuuming and removing mats, and removing any stickers or gum, putting caution signs in place, and dust mopping. Tape all doorways to prevent solution from seeping into adjoining areas. Before using any chemicals, wear protective glasses and gloves. Read the label on all chemicals and take the recommended safety precautions. For additional information, read the product MSDS and prepare solution. To get buildup around edges, use Triple S Baseboard Stripper. Spray on and let it work for a few minutes. If buildup is heavy, use a baseboard scrubbing pad with a handle to help with removal. Don't use brown or black pads on vinyl or rubber baseboards as they are too aggressive and can scratch vinyl or rubber surfaces. Wipe the baseboard clean and then rinse it with clean water using a damp mop or wet cloth. Apply stripping solution liberally to a 10 foot by 10 foot area. Place the mop in the bucket and allow the mop to become fully saturated. Do not wring out the mop. Let the chemical do as much of the work as possible. Allow the solution to stand and dwell according to the label instructions, typically 10 minutes. Do not let the floor dry. Apply more solution to areas that start to dry out. For edges and corners, use a baseboard edging tool. A floor scraper may be needed for excessive buildup. Once the floor edges have been scraped, begin machine stripping with a black or high productivity strip pad. Pass over an area four times overlapping with each pass. Stripper slurry is very slippery. Walk in areas where you have scrubbed. It will be less slippery in those spots. Avoid splattering baseboards. Check the floor pad every 300 square feet for finish buildup or wear. Flip the pad or change the pad when it fills up with old finish. Wash out used pad immediately after use if possible. If not, place used pads in a clean, heavy trash bag to keep them from drying out until they can be washed out. After scrubbing each area, use a floor squeegee to pull slurry away from walls and tight areas. Pick up the slurry with a wet vac. A wet vac with a front-mounted squeegee will work best. A two-step rinse is next. Removing stripper residue is important before applying floor finish. If you don't remove the stripper residue, you may have problems with the floor finish adhering to the floor. The first rinse is a flood rinse of clean water, liberally applied to the area. Use a clean mop for this step. Do not use the mop that was used to apply floor stripper. Pick up water and finish residue with a wet vac or clean mop and clean water. The final rinse is a clear water damp mop. With a bucket of clean water and clean mop, damp mop the floor. This can also be done with an automatic scrubbing machine and a blue scrub pad. Allow floor to dry. Air moving machines may be used to speed drying process. Final inspection. Once the floor has been rinsed twice, run your hand on the floor in several spots. If you feel a chalky residue on your hand, rinse again until the residue disappears. If the floor is completely bare and dry, it's ready for new coats of finish or seal. Return stripping tools and equipment for cleaning. Rinse out all equipment. Thoroughly rinse mops and hang to dry. Clean pads and hang to dry. Discard worn pads. When possible, 
Always remove stripper and finish residue before it dries. Stripping can also be done with an automatic scrubbing machine. Apply black strip pads to the auto scrubber. If possible, adjust pad pressure to maximum setting. Apply stripper solution to the floor liberally with a wet mop. Then use the double scrub technique. Allow chemical to work typically a minimum of 10 minutes. Floors with heavy finish buildup may require longer dwell times. Scrub the floor walking at a slow pace. Be sure the squeegee blade is up and the vacuum is off. On the second pass, scrub and vac up. In this pass, the squeegee blade should be in the down position and the vacuum should be turned on. Pending the level of finish buildup, you may need to make multiple passes. Inspect the floor when it's dry. If there are any shiny spots, that's finish that's still on the floor. Some spot stripping may be needed. When the floor is completely bare and dry, it's ready for new coats of seal or finish. Immediately clean up equipment at the conclusion of the procedure. All buckets and ringers must be thoroughly washed and rinsed. All mops must be thoroughly rinsed and hung to dry. All other equipment is either washed or wiped down and stored in the proper location. When you are finished, wash hands and dry thoroughly.